We lost you. Your, 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 your. What's up, Light? Light is here. Yes, sir. Yes, sir. Seafood with Fernandez, Terra Montana. Oh, I'm amongst the greats. I'm amongst the greats. <laughs> Luke. <laughs> See, I should have worn my hat. Yeah, but yeah, 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 yeah. I did, did, did see, we're having a hard time right hearing there. you again. The, the volume voice. went out. Your volume, the volume is gone. See, my volume was on. Yeah, Sifu, yeah, the volume. No, you cool, you cool, like Danger says, "What's up, I'm good. Yes, sir, I'm good. Uh, we can't hear. We can't hear you, uh, Sifu. Sifu, you okay? Yeah, we can hear you. Oh, like. okay. Oh. Yeah, you're you're good. Uh, any drills for blocking you guys? Uh, we can talk about blocks. Um, we'll wait for Sifu to come back. Can 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 you hear? You he can hear us. It looks like, but you can hear us. What, what is he doing? Something. Uh, I think yeah, this thing is kind of tricky sometimes. Yeah, we can see you. We just we can't. Can we can see. We just can't hear you. We can't hear you. There's music. No, not yet. Some sometimes you gotta sometimes you gotta go out and come back in. Try going out and coming back on. We'll see what happens. Did he hear you? Oh, yeah, he can hear he can hear us, but um he drinking Thunderbird. <laughs> Bruce Lee was the first <laughs> disciplines because he determined early that many individual styles like Wing Chun were too flawed to be applied effectively. Well, Bruce oh, Lee had his bottom. Yeah, he the guy uh, this was uh Con Shawnery. Uh that's his take on it. You can't hear him late. I can't hear him either. He's gonna come oh, back in. Gonna go and come so, back in. so he's like, why don't you talk a little bit about Wing Chun and boxing since you you combined it yourself? Okay, okay. Um, I you know I I've always found the good because uh, Chi Sao to me is some of the yeah. Best which we're, we're gonna do a little we'll, we'll do a little bit of Chi Sao. Of you and Sifu are gonna show us. Yeah, so Chi Sao is some of the best. I'm not. I'm gonna say. I, I want I want uh, Sifu to come in and say his point, but to me, my opinion, Chi Sao gives some of the best fruit because um, you're arm to arm, you're working sensitivity, you're dealing with another person. So I've always applied Wing Chun on the inner the in fighting of boxing, what I call the Julio Cesar Chavez range, where <laughs> you know we you, yeah we right up on each other, and then the swimming and trying to move positions to Still shots, I think Wing Chun applies very well in that area of um What's of boxing, swimming? Is that inside jack. Like if you, Yeah, swimming. like 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 that fight where um yeah, like they like they're, That's they're, called they're, swimming. they're, they're it's called swimming. position. Yeah. Is this called swimming? Yeah, we call oh. it swimming. Like, yeah, it's, oh. yeah, it's like and wrestlers use that term too. Like when wrestlers are inside, they call that swimming, where like you're jockeying for arm position. You know, like to me, one of the greatest fights was uh, of it was um, uh, um, Hurricane and Georgia when they were on that inside. And it was like moving the arm, stealing the shot. That type of stuff to me is where Wing Chun. Hurricane Carter. Very well. Hurricane Carter. And uh, Georgie Benton. And Georgie oh, Benton. Oh right. Yeah, the old time stuff, and then throw a punch. Yeah, yeah, yeah. yeah, yeah, yeah. They Thank were in the you inside. Yeah. Thank you, Lord James. Drink there he is. We, we got we got him back here. Let's see. Here, here he is. He's he drinking Thunderbird. <laughs> <laughs> the coffee, um, the coffee we version. Can't, we can't no, we can't hear you yet. Nope. <laughs> what is going on? What is going on? Dude, maybe he's gonna try his phone. Yeah, he's been we yeah. were happy. But for but for, for the so chance, the other thing now, chance, um, when you doing the when you doing the Philly show, you do this move right here. Break, can you break the, can you break down that move for us like that? Because a lot of people are teaching here, but you always tell me to move the shoulder to it. No, a lot of people do what? They kind of like parry right here, or they'll do this, but you got that when you no, turn that's the, the shoulder way. with it. But that's the way. That 
Yeah, but in a lot of and in, in a lot of them, they're not putting their their lower hand in the right position, so they're leaving mm-hmm. it out here or they're leaving it over there. You're exactly, supposed to put it across your stomach and then put this mm-hmm. on top. And then when your body All shots right. come, you just lean in and catch. See, see, you taking it, All laid it across right. here. Everybody be having mm-hmm. it over here, having it out here. Once you once you conquer this, you can play around a little bit here. But this is where you're supposed to lay it, and then if a body shot come, all you, and you put the elbow on top, and all you do is when a mm. shot come, it's easy. You just go boom, boom. Mm. That's all. Forget about forget. Yeah. No, don't you, turn this you way. That way, you go chance. straight down. Go straight down. Wow. Here, boom. Right, and put this on top, and then your left shoulder and right hand just go right into this. Now come upstairs. Look at this. Now come upstairs. Your left sh- shoulder. Just come right into here. And you put your face behind the glove. And then if you see the left hook coming, you slap your face. Now come back and slap. Right. But make sure that elbow is right. Make sure your elbow's on top of the your hand. Yep. Make sure your yep, elbow's right on top of here. Yeah. Make sure your on elbow top. Yeah, yeah. On is top. on top of the glove. Yeah. Right. Okay. Now come down and okay. put it around your waist. Put it around your waist and put your elbow on top. Your body shots is taken care of. Don't even worry about body shots. Wow. You just fixed me. You just fixed me, champ, because I ain't going to lie. Sometimes my arm goes yeah, well, out here. Well, once you learn, so, once you know how to keep it here, you can do what you uh, want to do because you know it's supposed to be here. Yes. So yes. leave it like this. Put this on top, and you catch the body shots. Don't even think about body shots. You can, as soon as it comes, Boom! It's up here. It's complicated because your left shoulder and right hand, they're best friends. Is that anything come down the middle? Mm-hmm. They both come together. But make sure your 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 fit just be behind like that. You make wow. sure your shoulders like that. I, I okay. Wonder, just back and forth, back back and forth. Catch the hook, back and forth. Yeah. Wow. They get it right here. They get gold information right here. You get it from the gold standard. Oh, hey, we got Viking Samurai in here. Viking Samurai, uh, salute from Light Burley. Hey, uh, 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 David. Uh, so he's going to try See when you put back. it in front of your face, you hear, hear, you can throw a hook from there. See that hand Whoa. down the bottom? No, don't lift yeah. it up. Go like this, and then and on the way up, you let it go like that. Wait. So, so now make sure. Okay, make sure the left shoulder. Throw it into your right hand. Throw this left shoulder in your right hand like that. Right, and go back. Go back. Slip, 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 slip. That's it. But keep that right shoulder. Put that elbow on top of that hand. Put that elbow on top of the hand. Right. Right here. That's the body shots. Now you can explore. You can explore more once you learn it by you can take this and you can leave it. Mm-hmm. You know it's supposed to be there. You just bring it here real quick and go boom, boom. Okay? Mm-hmm. Turn this mm-hmm. way, go mm-hmm. hook. Turn to the left and leave it there on your stomach and you turn the hook. Let me see you do that. Okay. Put this on your stomach. Turn. Let me see. Okay. Turn the other way. Throw the hook. Right here. No. When you go turn up, more that when, way. When you, after turn after more you that way. The hook. Yeah. Okay, wait a minute. You in the front here. No, yeah. turn the other way now. Slap your face. Turn more. Whip the hook around. Whip it around. Right. Oh, so oh, so when you, you go drag back it, to that, when you go back to that, you here, here, right. Yeah. Now I feel it like it's like you loading yourself up. Like when you turn with it, you kind of right there. If you kill somebody, right from there. So you bringing it out. Just bring it right from there, wham, like that. Let, let me ask you, uh, are, okay. there any wing, got it. Yep. are there any Wing Chun people out there who have questions? Let's see. Uh, why are hammer fists not allowed in boxing, somebody asked. Do you think it would make a difference if they were allowed? We say? It, um, we're waiting for, um, let's see, it's not allowing this device. What's happening here? Like, sometimes you like this too, you can just throw it up across here. See yeah, this? that's what I wanted to ask you. Go it up like that. That other piece that you throw. Get it right up. Here. Put it right here. Put it right here. Right on the floor. Right. Yeah. And and won't no jabs get there. If you're just looking, you can catch them. 
And you can, you can throw your jab Whoa. right from there. You see that here in the bottom? Whoa. You can throw your go. jab right from there. Yeah. Can, can you hear us? Whoa, Whoa that's no. Gold standard information right here. So, so after that, this one right if here. Somebody is, throw his, yeah. If somebody yeah. throw a jab, you can catch it, pull him, and throw a hook. Ooh. You hear Ooh. and hear? If somebody throw a jab, catch it, pull him, and throw the hook. Hey, hey, see oh. you. Everybody give a chance for Ralph. That's the truth. Can you hear me? Yes, yes, we can hear you. Yes. You can hear me. Yes. Oh, my God. Yeah, good. <laughs> I'm, uh, it's Ralph. Yeah, Ralph. Yeah, Ralph. Yeah, Ralph. Yeah, it's, it's snowed up in here for the last two days, and I think we're having problems with reception. Hey, uh, just so you know, Sifu, oh, okay. uh, Viking Samurai is in the chat. Oh, really? Yeah, I'm in. How you going, man? I'm scared to do martial arts. I don't want to get kicked. <laughs> yeah, don't like I don't want to get kicked. Yeah, that's a whole different so, world, that's So, whole see, world. We, were just, we were just going over kind of Bong Sao and the Philly <laughs> Shell, and it, it led into uh, some things. Um, uh, what, what, What's your thoughts on that Bong Sao and the Philly Shell? I think it's an interesting place to start because there is that similarity. Yeah. Well, the good thing is, is that I, I can see you and I can barely hear you because uh, I lost my um, Bluetooth connection to my speaker. So, but I can I can hear you, but it's a bit harder to hear you. Well, where where was I at? I was talking about combining Wing Chun with boxing, and I really made a, a good observation of, of a couple of fights with, with the champ, and um, I see a lot of connections with, with the Chi Sao of Wing Chun, right? But there's a big difference. There's a big difference because um, my observations, if I may, on a technical level when we talk about Chi Sao, is that there are, there are two main techniques that I observed him doing. One, so I've got to... I've got to connect the camera in such a way that you guys see me moving. Sorry. What exactly are you doing right there? Okay. So, did, <coughs> Jesus Christ. I move one way, my head goes the other way on the screen. Yeah. All right. Where's, so this, where's your elbow? Where's your elbow? He's showing a, let me show, I, know, showing a I, I know, but I just want to know where his elbow show, is. Yeah, show us where your elbow is, Sifu. Oh, okay. 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 I would have my elbow here, guarding guarding my rib cage, and having this close to my sternum and close to my face. Where are your okay. left hand? Where's your left? No, my left my left is here. You don't want to lay it across your stomach. He's showing you. This is my left. Yeah, yeah. Okay. So. Okay. This would be absorbing, all right, any incoming punches. And I was noticing that Tim was was diverting this hand from one side to another, all right, from one to another, okay. So that's pretty cool. In 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 Wing Chun, the puck this we would call this a puck sal, okay, or a jut or a jut sal, puck sal jut sal, all right. Now, a lot of Wing Chun lineages would say, hang on, that's not right, because with a puck sail, we come forward, right, which which is true. But a puck sail can also absorb, right? So I would notice that Tim would absorb and then bang, take off, absorb, take off, absorb, take off. And with the other hand, fuck, this camera's terrible. We can see you. All right. The other hand, he would have what we would call a, a bong sail, all right, he would even have that lower in his body, okay, and he would even like close up and move himself forward, which is really cool, right? Yeah, and you would do this, right? This is this this position here in Wing Chun is a double lung sal, okay? Double lung hey, sal. One, two, one, two. All right, I don't know if you could see me. Ah, oh, fuck. <coughs> Yo, you cussing. I'm not old enough to hear that. 
<laughs> if it was to give me energy, I can go to double the alarm and then crack in with a, with a strike, right? So I can absorb his energy, bang, come in with elbow, come in with a fucksa to his neck. A fucksa, we call that a fucksa in Italian. In, in English, you probably call it a fax, faxa, all right? In English, in English, that's a cuss word. Yeah. yeah that's a, <laughs> it's a swear. Go uh, ahead. I'm sorry. If, you know, if you came in with a, with a punch, I would absorb this, right? Your, uh -huh. your puck, right? And so you're protecting the whole zone area from your head right okay. down to your rib patch. Okay, right. Yeah. And the good thing, you know, like we, we say in Italian, and the good thing, right, is that you've got an angle here which covers a very wide area right like i noticed i noticed with the frank frank bruno fight you were doing very low very low wide angles right when he was throwing low punches because he didn't know what to do against you when you're covering yourself up right he was trying to land in a lot of low punches and you were doing what we would call a double gun sale movement right and just you were cutting his power he didn't even know what to do with the low punches Frank Bruno's a great fighter. I don't want to criticize him because he's he's a really good fighter. He's very strong, but um, you know, you're cutting his low low angle punches. You know, when he's say, coming. Let me say this to you. Uh, yeah. He was real. He was basic. He was basic. He wasn't really complicated. Um, he was in good shape. So um, yeah, yeah. You know, when I, yeah. When I fought him, I, when I, I fought him, he was basic, but he was in good shape. He was strong, and and yeah. really. And really, if I was in a little bit more better shape, I think I would have ended it earlier. I would have ended it yeah. earlier. Mm. And they were saying that he couldn't take a punch. And I was like, I trained hard, but I said, man, all I got to do is hit him on the chin. But I was hitting him on the chin, and he didn't budge until later. Until later. Yeah. Yeah. So, yeah. yeah. Later in the yeah. light, later in the round, that's because I was hitting him early. And I said, whoa, they said he can't take a punch. I figured I could get him out early. <laughs> Then I had to switch my plane around. And he was throwing a lot of punches at me. Yeah. Yes, he was. Go ahead yes, and finish. He was. Yes, he, was, he was. He was a specimen, too. Like you said, he was a specimen. Muscles, like, everything. Yeah. Muscles. Yeah. And everything. Yeah. yeah, everything. But see, uh, on, a, uh, on, I, I level, on a kung fu level, you know, I would, I would, this is my opinion, okay. I would classify you as a very... Uh, it's a mix between yin and yang. I would, you're a very yin fighter. You you absorb. You you take a lot. You you recycle. And I reckon, mm. <laughs> I reckon you're a very close range fighter. A you're what? Very similar to Wing. To me, this is my opinion. It's like you fight all ranges. Like when I watched you fight Larry Holmes, I mean, you you made me laugh when you got around. Uh, round of 10, 11, like it's like you taunted him and you started fighting south boy. You started doing, you started fighting long range. You almost reminded me of Muhammad Ali. You can fight all the ranges, but it's like you invite them to come in and you fight them really close. You throw some really heavy bombs. You know what I mean? Well, I want to tell you this. Let me say this to you real quick. Larry Holmes just had the jab and he hit you with the right hand. So he wasn't complicated. He just had mm, to, he mm. just had to all look like he was champion. He had that going for him. Serious. Do you if you watch his fights, he was real tough and had heart, and all he has is a jab. And he keep jabbing me in the right hand. But you didn't see him doing none, none of this stuff. Slip, slip, pop, pop. You don't see him blocking. And um but from he just had plenty of heart. So he didn't have that much. He didn't have that much. I was just only had 14 fights. And I just started. I only had seven amateur fights, and and I was like, afterwards, I was surprised. Really, I did really good against him. Yes, you did. Yeah. If you, yeah. did. you won that fight. You won that fight. Yes. He knows it. But he, he was good enough to give you a lot of credit for that fight. It was just, it was really good. I was I was really impressed. But heard, I'm not I taking anything I, from him. I'm not taking nothing I, from I, him. I heard, he, after, I, I heard after that fight. He, he never, he never, he never wanted a rematch, I noticed. He did. He moved out of what? Uh, after the fight, uh, Dean told me 
uh, Dean Williams aspiring. He threw all the spoons out of his house. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> all he had was all he had was forks and knives after that. Like, see another spoon. Right? So, no more spoons. So Sifu, I, 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 um, again, and, and uh, for the for the Wing Chun people out he, out there, um, I, what's interesting is the taking what you guys are doing and looking how it how it is utilized. Actually, where somebody like Tim and is utilizing energies and motions just like you guys are and this is a great place to see its its use actually in a practical forum so uh sifu talk a little bit more about your experience with um with fighting and using um the concepts that you were just kind of going over that was similar to the methodologies tim was using well you know they're, they're a bit different with with my fighting experience which, which by the way i really I really got to give my heart out to to to, to Tim. Uh, thank you for sticking up for me sometimes on the uh, on on YouTube or in the forums. Uh, man, nobody's ever done it for me, you know. Thanks to you, Light, as well. You know, we we've come a long way, you know. From yeah, we had a rocky start. Remember rocky start. <laughs> for real? Yeah, they almost they were gonna fight. I, I you don't know serious? How yeah, I don't know how much you guys want to yes. talk about that, but that's up to you. I'll let you want. I want to yeah, yeah. let, yeah. let it be fast. Someone's still got to tell me how to hack into one of my old channels so I can take. There's a couple of videos I need to take off the air. But, you know, one that you even acknowledge me or recognize me as a fighter is like a dream come true. That's That's one thing. Um, but my, my fighting experience, one, I did learn a lot from boxing because it helped me. It was one of the f systems that helped me confront my uh, fears. And uh, mm. then when mm. you fight on the street, what does it mean to fight on the street? I learned it mainly through security, bouncing, working as a bodyguard, working or listening to the right people as well. Like I said, my, my brother is is, is, a, is a, was a cop, he's, he's retired now. Uh, also instructing military people. As you know, I, light, I, I teach bouncers, he, he's here in my group. You, uh, or even you, Brian and Tim, you know this. Um, you, you're in my private group. Um, I learn a lot from people who know more than me as well. And But the experience of short range experience has been always my uh my my dynamics of combat but even there you still have to play the game of waiting you still have to play the game of trying to be patient you still have to play the game of the timing uh or waiting for the right moment to sort of like get offline or discharging the end of the the attack of your enemy even if it's for that split second um, the only difference is it can be one on one, it could be one on three, it could be one on five, it could be a team versus 20, it could be a riot, it could be so many different state uh, situations, it can be against weapons. So it's so diverse, it's different. But um, how can I put it? I, I look at it as anything goes, but um, one of the main weapons that's used in most combat situations on the street. Uh, is boxing because on the street one of the things that you don't want to do is is go on the ground mm. uh, and so one of the most popular stand-up systems you'll use even at close range is boxing period right. um, Wing Chun is something I use a lot because I use it well but I'm so fully aware of boxing that I've integrated as part of my system because for me it is it is dangerous it's dangerous I you know what I'm saying? I got a question for you. I, I got a question for you, Sifu. Um, with Wing Chun, sure. they they do a lot of uh, chain punching. So how has boxing changed your offense with your Wing Chun? You said in Wing Chun. When you use your yeah, Wing Chun. Like yeah. When, when you use I, your Wing Chun, are you using more boxing punches over the classic uh, uh, um, chain punching? Uh, you left the because I can't hear you well. Um, yeah, so, okay. so, um, yeah I'll, I'll see if I can, um, can hear me. Your, you can hear me? Yeah, I'll... Yeah, I was uh, saying, with your, 
with your training in boxing, has it changed your offense when you use it with your Wing Chun? Because a lot of classic Wing Chun men are used like the chain punch. But because you box, has it changed your offense when you use your Wing Chun? Oh, right, right. Okay. Okay. <clears throat> Let me clear up a misconception. The chain punch is, is the first punch you learn in, in Wing Chun. But in Wing Chun, you've got about, uh, oh, actually, I, don't hold me to this, but there's probably about 12 different attacks mm. with, with Wing Chun. So you have straight line attacks. Where's the camera? Oh, like this. Yeah, yeah, it's a circle. Oh. I'm showing them. Yeah, I'm showing okay. them this great okay. glass. All right, go right. ahead. Go ahead. I'm sorry. I'm he, sorry. Go ahead. He wasn't familiar with what you were talking about. Yeah. Okay. So you have the straight line attack. Then you have you have the angled. Jeez, you can't see nothing. Yeah. Hang on a sec. I'll get my my nephew to hold the camera. I can hold any tell the camera. Okay, can you guys see? Yeah. We had the straight line. Okay. Have the straight line attack. All right. The hook mass. You have uppercuts. You have the beauty attack. We can't right? see it. Which covers okay. two angle. All right. You have palm strikes. Um. You have incoming attacks this way. All right. Bang 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 These are all attacks from Wing Chun. Whoa. Okay. Every everyone in the mainstream Wing Chun world that it's only this. Hmm. Hmm. I don't know what to say. Hey. So. So are you do you use, are you using like classic hooks and uppercuts when you like when you when you are using it? Well, do you add that in there? Yeah. Well, the 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 problem is is that a lot of the the techniques that are you are taught on an advanced stage. The problem is is that they don't teach it to you later on, right? And I think that's a mistake. So when I create when I first created my own system. In 2005, and I broke away from the traditional schools. I said, "Well, screw them. I won't say a swear word. I'll I'll go my own way, and uh, teach my, teach my students a lot of the advanced techniques earlier, so they don't have to wait so many years like I did." Okay, that's you know? interesting. That's interesting because I this this follow me on excuse me follow me on this one. Now, in box and sometimes in boxing, um, a lot of boxers don't get taught basic stuff first. They be doing all the fancy stuff first and don't know how to do the, like step and jab, step and jab. Like they be doing all the fancy stuff like Mayweather and a lot of other guys, but they don't know basics. You know, basics, mm -hmm. block a punch, you know, block a punch, jab, right, or step here. They just naturally move. So is that what you're talking about? So in boxing, we I like to teach the, the, the boxer, put your feet in the right place, jab right, right back to defense. None of the fancy stuff first, like Mayweather and all those other guys. Some yeah. of those guys, a lot of those guys do the fancy stuff. They don't know basics. Putting your hands and feet in the right place, pull your fists up, punch with the first two knuckles. They don't know that, but they can do all the mm. fancy stuff. So they might have to go back mm. to school. Huh? Well, that's fair enough. That's fair enough. But I'm talking about something different. It's like, oh, okay, it's one thing learning basic stuff, which is very important, and I agree with that because I work like a machine where I would do things, <laughs> I would repeat things like thousands and thousands and thousands. I I don't know for hours upon end. Like who knows me really in the in the world of Wing Chun knows that I mean. You ask my French students online in my group, uh, ask my French students. You know, I trained them once uh, in Normandy for 18 hours straight, 
right? Physically on my own, I train them for 18 hours. That's how crazy I am when, when it comes to training. Um, I'm talking about something else. It's like not keeping back certain <coughs> elements of training or advanced techniques and holding it back from the students for like 20 years. And I think that's ridiculous. You know, it, it pissed me off finding out certain things after about 30 years when I should have known about them after maybe seven or eight. Basic yeah. stuff. Basic stuff yeah. Yeah. makes yeah. other stuff easier. Once you learn basic, real quick, once you once you learn basics, then all that other movement is much easier, I think. So go ahead. Yeah. And you know, if you teach them the fancy stuff first, you know, what about the basic stuff that's really going to help you in the future? No, no. I, I, you know what I'm I, saying? I, I, strong basics. You know what I'm saying? Like, strong basics, that's for sure. But, you know, I, I mean, I just don't want to lead a, a student up you know, one of those mysterious uh, oriental paths and says, oh, student, one day you will learn the truth, Padawan, and I will get you there, and then lead them up you know, for 15 years, and, and they never learn shit. You know what I'm saying? I don't want to be like that. I want to make sure that they get the facts and they know where they're going and know that there's a direction. And not that after 20 years... And not that after 20 years they've given me a shitload of money and they've been ripped off. I'm not into that sort of thing. Okay. They, that, that, happens, that happens in yeah. the martial art world, you know, a lot of times, you know. Uh, I'm I'm really against that. And, and unfortunately, yeah. Yeah. I'm, known in, I'm known in the oh, martial art world like a rebel. Go ahead, Light. Like. Yeah, go ahead. Yeah, go ahead. Oh, I was saying you uh, people don't talk about and I want you to, uh, to, to expound on that thing is uh, punching with the correct knuckles, the two yeah. knuckles. Yeah. Punching, because I see a lot of punches being, they slapping with the. Yeah, you've got, you've got palm strikes, palm strikes, and we punch with the last three knuckles barehanded. Oh. Yeah, I found out that I found out when I broke my hand here that when I went to the doctors, this is actually called the boxer's bone. In real, this is documented as the boxer's bone. So the doctor told me you shouldn't punch with this side of your hand. He said this is the strongest part. This is what the doctor told me. I broke this on Al Cole's head, the first round, and I fought him twelve rounds and won the fight. This was broke. But when I went to the doctors, he said the first two knuckles is where you should be landing your punches. And he not even uh, a art like boxing or martial arts. He said, this is the strongest part of your hand. Oh, this, these first two right here. And he said, you should be landing your punches with, the, with this side of the hand, not this side. So I rushed the punch, I left hook, and I hit Al, and, and I felt it. And then I was like, I kept on fighting. And then during the fight, the pain didn't it didn't bother me, but you know if you punch, you'll feel it. So, like I said, when I went to the doctor, he told me this is actually called the boxer's bone right here. And this is the weakest part of your hand on this side. But he said this is the strong part, and this is where you should throw your punches. This is where it should land, like that. That's what he told me. But maybe that's for a horizontal punch. Sorry. For a horizontal we do a vertical punch. Okay, how does that go? Well, when I uh, okay, like That's like you'll probably yeah you got knocked off. He'll be okay, back. I'll, I'll see you. Him back in. Don't hurt his okay, chest. Okay. Oh, so I see you. Okay. Okay, I see you. All right, when. Uh, mm, so when when it strikes, you're flat. When it right. extends, the energy goes right through the last three, and then it lines up with the last knuckle. So hit oh. it starts from the top. As it extends, it goes through to the last. Starts from the top, it generates through to the last. Oh, okay. Wow. I see what you're saying. So the punch still lands with the first two. Yeah, and then it extends oh, okay. right. Okay. 
Yeah, it takes a lot of practice. He's back. Here we go. Oh. We got light back. Oh. oh. Sorry. See, you punching like that. See, so we back drill it in there. like this. Here we go. Boom, we and drill then it they, in like they that. turn it up. It goes like that. Boom. And up. They go like this. And then it's turned up. Oh, like that? So it looks like, yeah, it's like, uh, boom. Um, right. See, okay, like I see you. Yeah, I see. You. Right? I don't. I don't push. I don't push the wrist at all. It's just the natural extension that makes it go to the last knuckle. But I don't put any pressure into the wrist. Mm. It's just the natural extension of my elbow that makes it start from the top knuckle, right from here, and then as the elbow as the elbow extends, it finishes on the last three. So from here. Extend the elbow, boom, and it finishes on the last three. There you go, you're on it better. No, put it, you're on. Okay, you got it. Now here you go. Tim, Tim's got, uh, showing you. No, no, I was, I was watching, I was watching him how he does it. Okay, oh. like this. Yeah, that's kind of complicated. <laughs> that's complicated, <laughs> right? Really easy. Okay. Yeah, but when you've done it ten million times, it, it becomes oh, easy. Yeah, yeah, yeah. 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 Repetition, baby. Repetition. But did you know this was called the boxer's bone? No. Yeah, that's what the doctor said. The doctor said this is this is this is called the boxer's bone. That's what all the doctors. If you break it, that's what they're going to say. Oh, that's the boxer's bone. So a lot of boxers must have came there with broken hands. <laughs> and this is the weakest part of your hand. This is the weakest part of your hand. He said. Right. When when I when the, my uh, trainer used to uh, get us to spar, they would wrap our hands, and before putting on gloves, they would make a spar with our hands open. They'd have our hands wrapped. We wouldn't put on gloves. It was very light contact, but we would just have to. We would have our hands uh, positioned like this. With our hands wrapped in this. Your guys got a lot of heart, man, because I'm going to put on some gloves. I really have respect <laughs> for that. We couldn't, we couldn't close our hands because they were so, so wrapped. Oh, oh, okay. They wrapped them tight. Mm. Oh, okay. And then when we, put in, when we put in our, what were they, eight or ten, sound, ten ounce gloves, you know, they would fit comfortably into the gloves, right? Okay, okay. But, it was the pre-wrapping. They would make a spa or do shadow boxing with the wrapping, and then we put on gloves, and then we go in and spa. Okay. Mm. Hey, Paul, yeah. do you want me to go to the videos that you want? Yeah, well, if you want to talk about, like a lot of times we talk about fighters, right? Yeah. Who, who would be some fighters with Wing Chun? I mean, we could talk about a, a couple of guys if you want. All right, I'll, I'll um, I'll, I'll just uh, I'll put this guy be right. I'm just gonna put up your videos. I have your videos here. That. Oh, no. for another month. Which one do you want me to go to? This one. Is this a good one. He has a lot of followers too, huh? Uh, oh, yeah. oh, okay. This is uh, Sean Obazi. Any so anything you want to know about this guy? By the way, Tim. Whoa. He's a big dude. I know. Yeah, That's just he's a specimen. Can, can you guys see him? Yeah, yeah. Sean, Sean. This guy's a personal hero of mine. Boom. Whoa. Now, I'm going to stop it there, and then we're going to slow it down like we talked about, Paul. So I can't do that. <laughs> watch. But um, Sifu, explain what he does. I'm going to slow this down right here so Tim well, understands okay. what the well, from my knowledge, I mean, I don't know Sean personally. We personally we talked a couple of times on the internet. I mean, he's a lovely guy. He trained really, really hard, and he had this strong desire to go into MMA and UFC. Um, basically, he's just going in for a straight line blast, but I think he only got him in with a couple of direct rights, which was really enough, really, because he came in really powerfully. Yeah. Uh, the wreck right, he uses his whole body to go in, lands yeah. him, and he's combined Wing Chun with um, 
Brazilian Jiu-Jitsu, I believe, which yeah. he, he's really good at doing. But he doesn't even need to really finish him off, I believe, with Jiu-Jitsu. He goes in for ground and pound. But the principles, the principles of Wing Chun are there. Like he just goes in for the kill, sticks close to the body, and he follows through to finish him off. It looked like that straight punch you was just showing it, how he did it. Oh, he you're not it. showing the rest of the fight? He oh, it's good. They went to the ground. Do you want to see the ground game? No, he could have finished him off with a straight with a straight right. left. You seen him hit him with the right? If he would have followed up with that left, it would have been over. Oh, it would have been good night. Yeah, yeah. Good night I think the guy fell to the ground too quickly. <laughs> oh, right. Yeah. Oh, look at that. So he just, he's, yeah, he, yeah, he just. Pushes him I'm off on the ground. That. I don't hey, think I really, respect, I really respect y'all guys. I am not doing that. <laughs> I'll stick it I'll stick it I yeah, really so you guys. I mean, this is Wing Chun principle: still sticking to the guy, not letting him uh, get, give it get a chance. What's he doing? He's separating him, is he? Oh, what's that? Uh, giving him but another they chance. Go back to the same position. Yeah. Oh, snap. Oh, you can good turnaround. Right yeah, I don't think there's much this guy can do now. Whoa. Dang. It's probably not allowed, but oh, I'd probably. Oh, rib shot. Oh, baby back ribs. Give me the ribs. Yeah, yeah. MMA. Is MMA? MMA? I'm pretty, yeah, I'm pretty yeah. sure Sean was about 220 pounds. <clears throat> yeah, I don't got the heart for this. Yeah, that's, that's the all out there. Oh, he's just throwing one punches. If you'll do a combination, it could help. Yeah, yep. A combination. He would have finished them off in the first round, I think. Yep. But he went straight down. Yeah, you got to have a different kind of heart to do this stuff. I'm not. Yeah. <laughs> hey. I respect y'all guys. I'm not doing this. Yeah, yeah. <laughs> yeah. Well, you know, this is the sort of intensity that you have when you're doing door work. You go in like a psychopath. Oh, right. Okay. Yeah, that's some rough stuff there. Yeah, he's hurt. That boy is that hurt. Too, that you can't kick him. You can't kick him. Oh, uh, yeah, you could kick. It just depends. You can't kick him when he's down in the face, I think. Oh, like that. okay. Okay, that's yeah, it. Somebody stop the fight. Stop Depends the fight. on the rules, you know, of the of the competition. He should have stopped it before that. Yeah, yeah I really. think yeah. Yeah. that fight now, was over. Um, is there anything now, about this, this one fight, fight here? This fight here, if I'm not wrong, they couldn't find a fighter, and I think just a local wrestler decided to take him on. And oh. this guy went straight to take him down, right? But but Sean's pretty good on the ground. Whoa, this kid is a wrestler, but he's got a lot of heart. Yeah. Well, you know, wrestlers are pretty dangerous, man. Uh, if you're in my group, you, you know what I'm talking about, because I train with a really heavy wrestler. Whoa. Yeah. Oh, he's pretty good on the ground. He's going for the whole thing. Yeah. Sean, is, Sean is really good on the ground. Well, I'm thinking he's the other guy is doing really good. Y'all saying the guy on the ground is doing good, huh? Yeah. You know, <laughs> you get better wrestlers than this, but you know it's not bad. Yeah, yeah. They even go for that arm bar. That he, he shows he knows what he's doing. Yeah, he's keeping his hips up. Okay. Oh, oh, got to his feet. Wow. So that's the other guy. See how he holds his hands. That's a kind of a Wing Chun thing there. But then, yeah. just... Well, you know, he's well, well, let me say something. He's hitting them in the ribs with then with the with his hands. His ribs should be broke. Okay. It ain't like big box. Well, they're gonna be soft. Well, you, you know broke, that uh, the uh, a wrestler, generally speaking, has really good absorption capabilities to to withstand heavy blows to the ribs. That that's a fact. Yeah, the wrestler did pretty good. Yeah, he, he did. He lost. But he lost. He lost. Yeah. 
Yeah, this is a different kind of. I'd rather stick to standing there boxing, taking body shots. <laughs> um, um, you got to be a different type of person. Um, yeah, even right. Mike Tyson would give up. Even Tyson, if he if he don't get you with them punches, I'm sure he wouldn't want to do this. That's right. That's right. You gotta be That's a certain right. person to do that. So what we you, doing? You have to be in a whole different place to do that type of work. You know, then okay, we get a lot of people. Uh, we get rid of this commercial. What What are we going to be looking at now, Brian? Uh, this is um, uh, Tim against uh, Larry. Maybe you want to. Okay. Um, I know you want you wanted to break this down a little bit. There we go. Okay, I had a there lot of go. confidence. Well, my right hand was supposed to have been that like that. Okay, here we go. I only had 14 fights here. And, oh, look um, at that catch. Yeah, well, we we uh only only started fighting three years before this. Wow. And now I'm fighting the great Larry Holmes. Um, wow. And right now I'm still learning, guys. I'm still learning. I only have 14. Oh, yeah. job. Learning on the job. Mm. Yeah, I'm still learning. When Don King asked us, uh, asked me to take the fight, I told my trainer, I said, man, it's too soon. He said, Tim, we're going to whip his ass. And so I believed in my trainer. And so we got we got sparring partners and had them throwing jabs at me for, for like two months. Hard wow. jabs and stuff. So that's how come I'm real confident, confident at, you know, with his jab. I'm slipping. I'm moving my head. I'm slipping. I should have my hands a little closer. Right, you see there, there, there you go with that guy, uh, guard with the with the right. How hey, you holding that up? I That's yeah, but, I didn't put, but I didn't put the left hand over my stomach that much because Larry wasn't going to the body. He just was using his jab. You know, remember I said in the beginning he's he, he's got his jab and and his and his right hand. And, I love yeah. that. Right? Yeah, you want to see that in slow motion, guys? Yeah, see that in slow motion. That was beautiful. There. That I was think beautiful. Yeah. I was just showing off. <laughs> yeah, it was beautiful. It was beautiful. It was really, magical. I was I was trying to show him that. I was really trying to show him that. Boom. Okay, yeah, yeah. okay. Look, you just this. put it right up there. Just throw it right what? up there. Catch. 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 Whoa, take, he's catch. taking oh both. My God. He's not even taking, not even striking me, man. And, and that was kind of sloppy too, guys. The way I put my hands up, that was kind of sloppy. It could have been a little that bit more needed than that. Yeah, but, yeah, that. But 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 you're getting hit by fucking Larry Holmes. It's not like you're getting hit by Mickey Mouse, man. <laughs> I know. Now now I'm uh, like I'm just keeping my hands up with him because I knew we practiced about the jab. That was his main thing, the jab. So. Once we get that jab out the way, I could do a lot of things. But you know, I'm, I'm young, and and this is all new to me. But if I would have had three more fights, Ooh. um, Sifu, could you do me a favor here? Explain what you see here. That's like uh, Wing Chun's, uh, the Bang Sao, and all of that. I'm gonna go through that slow from here, and uh, uh, you and Light uh, can kind of break this down if you guys don't mind. So. If, so the boxers out there can kind of get an idea of how this interprets. Yeah, well, it, it's pretty simple. Like, uh, well, apart from the good dodging there, <laughs> the um, when he keeps up the the guard there with 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 the guard upon uh, above his face, that's very very similar. Like I was saying before, like a paksa, an absorbing paksa, either a paksa or a jutsa. Okay, so I'll tell you when he does it. Yeah, I slowed it down here so we could get a good opportunity. <clears throat> I did it even better, like, in my later fights. This is real early. Yeah. This is real early. I'm, I'm sorry. Still learning. We're, we're, let's see if we got. I'm still learning. See, I'm trying to get out of the way. His, his jab. Right okay, there. Here he oh, no, no, no. right. Okay. And you smile. Look at you smile. Yeah. That's psychological. That was, I like that. Yeah, smile. Now he's that. got it. He put his guard up and then put the on. But, you know. So Keeps it up, up momentarily. Here it is. He's got it now. Okay, attacks. What do you, what are you seeing, guys? The moving body, because it never stays fixed, right? 
it's, it's hard to pinpoint it at that moment, but he does it. See where that left hand is not fully underneath my stomach because I was taught this defense um, and I was learning. So that's why I still got it out like that a little bit. But once you get in the hand, once you get into having that left hand across your stomach, you'll start leaving it out. And as soon as somebody try to throw body shots, you'll automatically throw it against your stomach. So it'll be loose. Okay. You can throw a punch from there. See, I can throw a punch from the hand that's down the bottom. I can throw a jab. I can throw a left hook from there. Um, and I can come right up the middle with that jab. Now, here's the defense. I rolled underneath there. Then he pushed me. So, think it's not too much you really get. Uh... Yeah, I see what you're saying, Tim. But now you're holding it up. You're right and keeping your, 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 the, the left hand lower towards your stomach. So you're holding the defense well here at the moment. Yes. And I'm not sure if you call it this in, how you call it in English, but you, you throw a lot of, uh, I know you throw an overhand right a lot. Yes, yes. My, my right hand wasn't strong enough, so my trainer had me looping it over. I try to, I try to um, you know, when I'm sparring, I throw the right hand straight. And he said, Tim, um, I mean, it's not as strong. And it's, so that's how the overhand right was developed because my trainer uh, said my straight right wasn't strong enough. And we was, we was going to uh, develop okay. it, but he worked. So that's slim right there to the left. He was he was one of the best. Yeah. Right, there, mm. right there. Yeah, that was slim. He was one of the best. Uh, he showed See, one, of, one of the differences in, in Wing Chun is that we do a lot of chi sao, you know, when you're doing hand-to-hand, -hand, uh, like, really when you're in contact with your hands and wrists, right? Whereas as boxers, you're doing it as you're throwing punches, which is a really big difference. Okay. You understand what I'm saying? Well, uh, the champ wants to know what Chi Sao is. Do you want us to do that little, you want to show him? I'll stand up and we do a little, you show us the Chi Sao? Yeah, well, actually, that's why I bought my nephew. <laughs> okay. <laughs> So yeah, whenever you want. I don't want to. I don't want to interrupt the fight, though. You know, but I'll, I'll give you a no, quick no. demo. Okay. Hey, sec. Oh, shit. You guys there? Yeah. Okay. Yeah. So I would like, like, like I was still learning, man. I only had like Oops. seven amateur fights and I sparred with all these different guys. And he was teaching me stuff right before that fight. I was still learning. All right, here we mm -hmm. go. We're okay. show you incredible, sound. incredible. Yeah. Incredible. <laughs> no, we, I'm watching um his his his, his nephew. Yeah, him okay. and his nephew, yeah. Yeah, that's it. Peace over war. Uh, can you guys see us? Yeah. Mm -hmm. All right. So I don't know how much space we got. So okay. So the normal, normal exercises that you do is what they call rolling. Okay. My 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 baby has for that long, and this is your wrist to wrist rolling exercises. Okay. Oh, I've seen that before. The structure of of your of your exercise. Now, your angles that you've got, they're designed to do several things. That is, one, that if I attack, he discharges my energy and he counterattacks. Okay. Okay. So he discharges and he attacks, right? Okay. Or my angles, if I'm talking to someone, I can sort of like shift the guy, right? So I can shift the guy with my angles. Or, you know, I can either shoot or I can pull him and whatever. I can manipulate his energy. What's really hard to do with chi sao, right, is what you guys do. And it's something that I've been doing for a long time, which is that if we get at a certain distance, I need to get it, right? So we'll do it in slow motion that if he throws me a punch, I absorb it and then counter it that. Or okay. he goes right back. Right. I prefer that one like that, <laughs> like boom. So, over 
in the Philly shell, you'd be doing something like one bang bang, or again, absorb my country to be like one, two. This is for cheese out at close range, but a cheese out reflex is designed to absorb the energy and counterattack. When we do Wing Chun, we try to do everything in one motion, which is one, two, all right? Or to be able to do that, or one, two, this sort of thing. We try and eliminate the process at short range and do it very quickly because I don't want to I don't want to do things at too long a distance. Because when we're fighting at close range, everybody's in your truck. You know, we're at this distance here. So I've got to recycle energy at this at this range here. So if if we hands down and I'm I've got to worry about him throwing a punch at me, I've got to really react here. Okay. And discharge his energy really quickly. And I'd give him elbow strikes and stuff like that. So, so I, when I look at boxing, when I look at boxing, yes. and we're looking at these ranges, you know, it's a different kettle of fish, but it's still dangerous for me. Because even on the street, okay, so do it uh, even on the street, you know, boxes are going to come in pretty powerful. You know, these types of punches. At close range, and I've seen it happen. You guys arguing, and all of a sudden, a guy just goes, boom, <laughs> and down he goes. You know, really powerful hooks, right. and these dangerous uh, situations at close range. Mm. So, I don't know if that sort of gives you a brief yeah. discussion of, no, of what, what we what, do. What, with yeah, see, what I would do to me, I'm, I know, no, I'm saying with what most boxers would do when they get variety of punches coming at them they'll just tighten up their defense and y'all guys with the art you just go mic like this or like that and get rid of the punches like that you know um that's kind of unique too we, we'll yeah. just take the punches and counter off of that we'll, we'll get mm -hmm. tight and counter where y'all guys do the art like this and it's beautiful like you spin it off bah, yeah. and hit somebody yeah um yeah i think that's I think that's pretty cool. You gotta have a lot of training to do that though. Like yeah. you gotta have a lot of training. <laughs> oh listen, all I do is just boom or boom. <laughs> Catch it, boom. But the art is beautiful when you boom, bop and hit somebody. Yeah, that's a yeah. Lot of training. That's a lot of training. <laughs> well that the, yeah. you get a lot of you get a lot of sensitivity from the, from Chi Sal, like feeling what a man is gonna do, right? Like Ooh, that's okay. one of the things you're building up is that ability to kind of you know, know what he's about to do and beat him to it from the sensitivity to where, you know, would they show Bruce Lee doing Chi Sal with his eyes closed, which I think was a good representation of Chi Sal wow. because he's not looking, he's feeling what you're about to do, which I think is one of the greatest things about Chi Sal wow. is that feeling it builds up that touch sensitivity. From, from doing it all the time, he can feel it know where it's coming, right? Yes. From practicing yeah. and he know the next thing is coming, right? Oh yeah. Right. yeah. Well, I mean, I developed I developed developed uh, chi sao drills with boxing techniques. Mm. Oh, I'd like to see them one day mm. or whatever. Well, see, that's what I was talking about earlier. It's like me, Wing Chun, and boxing is at that point where we're in that gap, and I can move your arm and steal off a shot. You know, I can ride I can ride off your tension because a lot of guys are real tense. And that makes you a sucker for Chi Sal. Like the more so wait a are, minute. So wait a minute. You yeah. said you'll pull his arm down? Yes, you say you especially if it's that yeah. tension. If that tension okay. is there, it works. If they're relaxed, it's hard to it's harder to and do. And you that. know what we would do real quick, real quick. What, what what I would do now, I've just seen this kid um um doing a video. <clears throat> And and he, he had his hands up. The guy had his hands up, and he pulled it down and threw the punch. I think that's too much movement. I thought that was too much movement, so I wouldn't do that. I would hit him somewhere else so he could drop the hand and throw it instead of mm -hmm. pulling it down and hitting it. So I, I commented back and saying, that's too much movement. Um, you right, He right on me, and he went like this. Why can't you just throw a body shot or something, make him pull it down? Um, mm -hmm. But it, might, it works for you. You understand what I'm saying? So he was yeah. there and he pulled the guy hand down, a boxer. A boxer pulled his hand down, then hit him. That To me, that was like too much to do. Pull, pull it yeah, down. Yeah, I see Lomachenko was, 
But it's different with y'all guys. It's different. There's so many variations in a fight. It all depends. You can pull a guy's you can pull a guy's arm down if he's a rigid guy and you throw him off balance. But if he's not a rigid guy, it wouldn't work. Okay. Yeah. Okay. Yeah. Now that makes sense. It needs tension. It needs tension. It needs tension. Yeah. And, and and that's how Lomachenko does it. If you look at Lomachenko, he puts you into the shell. So once you shell up, he now grabs your hand, and your tension kind of brings the punch back at you. Like the more you, I was just trying to show them where the punch in. I'm listening. I just want to try yeah. to show you what I was talking about. Yeah. Um, they keep on talking. The guy yeah, no, pulled his that, hand down, yeah. and I said no, to Jacob. my daughter, I said, "Usek does no, that a lot too. Us, Usek does it. Usek does it. He, yeah, I see guys doing that, and um, I think." I think that takes too much, takes a couple of seconds off of, of a punch. But you guys are really quick and stuff, and you probably could pull it off. But me, I would go somewhere else and to make him pull it yeah. down himself and then yeah. throw the punch like that. Like, uh, I got a yeah. friend who, who specialized in arm levers, right? Uh, and he's in our, in our group as well. His name's uh, Remy Hegelson. He's, uh, he's a private student of Steven Seagal. Uh, when we went to Russia in 2019 to train with him, uh, he, he does security on all levels as well. He's a military guy. And, you know, like, like if he grabs your arm, man, he, he you'd be shocked at what he could do with it. You know, it's like pretty amazing. You should see some of his videos. He's the guy who's got the channel uh, Martial Arts One-on-One. -on -one. Okay. Is this the video? Yeah, see, he pulled his hands up. Now watch. I think that's too much. Look. What you think? I, I can only see a guy throwing two uppercuts. No, he's throwing one. He's grabbing his elbow and pulling it up and then throwing the punch. All right, is this a guy who um, who does like a slap up on the arm and throws the, a punch into the rib cage? Yeah, he pulls his elbow up, then throw the body shot. I think that's too much movement to me. But you might yeah, not yeah. think that. I, I, I saw it? this video. I saw this video. Oh, you did? You look yeah, at it. He pulled his arm up, I, I, he pulled his arm up and throw the body shot. Like, do you think that's too much movement? Yeah, I, yeah but it's it's uh, I, 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 I agree. It's I, I, I agree that I agree that it works because he's standing there, but like you said. In timing, that's a lot of movement to pull off. It's a lot of movement. All amount of time. All right. <laughs> but it does like you work. Have to, you have to really make sure the guy is going to be there for that. Like, you know, because he's just standing there allowing it to happen. Trying to get yeah. that off on yeah. somebody that's moving is going to be a lot more difficult. Like Would that, that grabbing of the elbow, he could have got hit. As soon as he grabbed okay. the elbow, that guy triggered. He could have ate Would y'all guys use that? Would you use that in, in your technique? Yeah, it's called a toxal, but I would do it use it in a different situation. Oh, okay. I'll give you an example, actually. I don't know if you can see me. If I've got pressure on his arm and I'm pushing towards his head, then I'll first give him pressure towards his head. Then I'll slip under and hit him under. Yeah, that's a lot of. But I'm already yeah. putting pressure towards his face, his body. Yeah. So okay. if, yes. if he were to let go of my arm, my 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 punch. I don't know. If, hang on. Yeah, that's better. Okay, I'm putting pressure towards his head, right? Okay. Bang! I hit him, right? So if he lets go of my arm, he's gonna get a hit, bang, straight into his oh, head, right? Oh. So okay. what happens? Watch. Now I do this. Bang. Mm. So he can't let go of pressure, bang. So either way, I'll be complete pressure attacking his body. Bang. It's different. Mm. And watch this. Now this arm here that's holding him is, atta excuse me, oh. is attacking his face as well. So I replace this pressure that's attacking him with this pressure. So this pressure is attacking him. Now I replace this pressure to attack him down here. So I've got two pressures attacking his body. 
Yeah, it, mm. with good wing chewing, you got to attack with the right pressure as you're attacking his body. You're a bit like a pit bull that attacks the, the body. Oh, okay. great, great breakdown, Sifu, of talking yeah, about yeah. the pressure. A lot of people don't understand that pressure thing is that they're really trapped because if they remove that hand, the strike goes in. Yeah, yeah, yeah. That's yeah. beautiful, Sifu. Hey. Talk, talk about the Sifu. That's hey. why it's uh, right. Unfortunately, in about... Um, Paul Light in about, uh, we got to go on another live in about 12 minutes, unfortunately. But Tim wants to do this again. He asked if yeah, we. Yeah. Yeah. Is it, if it's all right with you guys, we could do this again. Please. Is it okay? Yeah. Okay. Yeah, yeah. Maybe we'll bring uh, Dean Williams. Uh, he's in the morning. train fighters for MMA and stuff. So we'll bring Dean Williams, the Welsh Road Warrior. I'll go a couple what? of rounds. I'll go a couple of rounds with your nephew if you don't kick me. <laughs> oh, he, he, he's, he, he, is he from Italy or, or Australia? Uh, he's Italian. I have to translate for him. Oh, oh, okay, okay. He understands a little bit of English. He, 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 he's, he just said that it's a big honor for him to be here. It's a really big honor for him. Oh. Um, I used to know how to speak a little bit of Spanish. <laughs> I mean, Italian. <laughs> yeah, Apata, yeah, he's very Apata 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 Bruta, Pacha Bella, Pacha Bruta, Pacha Bella. There, there you go, champ. There you go, champ. Uh, <laughs> there you go, champ. Wait, <laughs> what? <laughs> Come te llama. Come te llama. Come te. Come te llama. Come te llama. David. Oh, oh. David. Oh, David. David. What's his name? Yeah, that's his name, David. David. For David. my for my uncle is Little Dave. Oh, uh, Little Dave. Okay, okay. Uh, to comprende English, uh, español, poquito. Um, okay. Entiendo, entiendo poquito. No habla. Okay. Mm. Oh. Oh, all right. Yeah, yeah. We switch. So we're gonna do it again. Uh, I don't know really? where I yeah. live because I live. And then the Italian uh, people in America, you, you don't understand yeah. English. Yeah. Un poco English. Oh. Oh. Okay. <laughs> what are we gonna do? Uh, we just no, you this still got nice. you still got like nine more minutes. Come on, let's do it. Uh, close okay. it. And then um, we're gonna go on to another. And like I said, Dean Williams, a Welch warrior, is in in the room, and uh, we'll bring him on next time. He's got a background too, and. He was his sparring partner, the Hitman Hearns and uh, Larry Holmes. Larry Holmes. Oh, well, hey, look, I, I've got a question that my, my nephew had for you. He wanted to know a little bit about the history of the Philly Shell. Oh, you don't understand English, do we? I'll translate. Oh, okay. Um, the Philly Shell, when I was a little kid, when I was a little kid, all the older guys used to get out in the street. And 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 slap box with their hands open, right? Like that. Fifty two was big at. Yeah. Right. And 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 the shell came from them. The shell is is just a defense that's real tight. It's not really all this where you see Mayweather. It's tight like this. It's tight like that. You know, the shell is anything. Mayweather. Okay. It was very streetwise. Yeah, and every and and the shell means not getting hit and having a tight defense. Il guscio vuol dire non essere picchiato, di avere una difesa molto stretta. And not getting, and not really getting hit. So all the old lot of uh, the the people in the neighborhood call it the shell because it's like a shell. A shell is like a eggshell. It's hard and you can't break it. You can't break it. That's that's what the shell. You're wrong, Beno. Okay. Mm -mm. Now, now, the Floyd Mayweather don't do the really don't do the shell. He just staying there doing this. The Mayweather not doing the shell. Mm. So he's more yeah. like show the catcher, right? He's more like um, catching than doing the shell. Yeah, I wouldn't be catching it with my shoulder that much. I don't they think there's the roll, is the roll, and really on the roll, you're not supposed to get hit. You was that punch was a slide off the shoulder. 
Like mm. his kids yeah. was a slide off with the roll. It was a slide off. Really. Okay. That's, yeah. that's very she saw. Praticamente deve uh, essere come un guscio che se tu no no deve rotolare oh, okay. via deve rotolare okay. via dalla okay. Uh, okay. Also, you can also throw a left hook off the roll but they didn't teach him so you, you could throw a left hook off that roll over the top of it dal conico come il nostro bomb sì come bomb and then you go rubber neck with punches is called rubber neck Ok, anche uh, quando, quando fanno i pugni devi, essere, devi avere il collo di gomma. Elastico, sì. per dire. Canelo fa questo molto. Canelo fa questo. Tu puoi rubber neck and throw a punch, o tu puoi rubber neck and come back, ma non fai questo perché tu realmente sai cosa stai facendo. Non credo, ho imparato questa cosa, cioè non perché è una cosa, ho imparato questa cosa, non pensavo che fosse connettato con la cosa. Oh no, sì, la cosa, realmente la cosa è This, really, the shell is just having a tight defense. I don't know what they be talking about on TV. Mayweather don't be doing the shell. He, he just does like this. And, and his defense, he go on this side. He don't even go on that side. He don't no. even use this side. He just no. keep going like this. And he don't so, even have his hand up. Were you one of the first people to bring out the shell to the public? Or was it someone before you? Or? No, the old, old timers used to do the shell. Old no, but I mean, how many boxes passed? Were there other I, noted boxes that brought it out, or it came from it came from Philly and like New York and stuff, but mainly Philly. Uh, and, and all the all the by all the people, all the guys get in the street and just have a tight defense. That's where the yeah. shell came from. And then they started then they started adding other stuff on it. As long as your defense is tight, as long as it's tight, that's the shell. Well, well, you're you the man. Down, you just broke down pretty much the history of 52. And this is what I tell it from. 52 came from those boxers. Like you said, they would get in the street slap box, and that's where you would see all of this type of stuff, like this to catch and then catch the body shot. That is the birth of 52 blocks. You heard it right here with Mr. Tim Witherspoon. <laughs> he just broke it down. So if anybody wanted to know where 52 came from, He just said it from the old timers that would slap box because when I came up, that's how we got it. We got it through slap boxing. Yeah. Slap boxing was big. That was that was like a uh, passage of uh, rights. Like as a man, like you had to get out there and slap box and show, you know, without hurting each other and but show you you willing to, you know, have a tight defense. You're not quick. You quick and you can't get hit. You quick and you yes, can't get and hit. You can't get hit. And that's the birth of 52 blocks as a, as a system is a system built on how not to be hit. And you right. just broke it down way better than I can ever break it down. They just heard it right here on this live from the man himself, two time champion in the row, uh, Tim Witherspoon. Thank you. Thank you, sir. Yeah, should, I say got, should I say we've all got something in common then? Yes. Even though I, I grew up with a, you know, a Chinese system, I think boxing unites us. Yes. yes. And listen, one more thing, too. Um, if you take, if you right-handed, right, if you take this and put it over top of here, you'll never get hit with a jab. Mm. Put it all the way in. You, you'll never get hit with a jab. You keep you use this. Jab, you'll never get hit. And if a hook come, you just turn in like that and catch it. They'll break their, they'll break their hand on your elbow. Mm. So this is a good one, too. And you take this and you lay it down. And then this is Joe Frazier did this a lot. You can bring yes. it up. You can yes. bring it down. Yes. Okay, bring yes. it up. Bring it down. When the body shots come, slide it down. Here, turn, hook, jab. Yep. Yep. Jab from there, turn, throw a punch, come right back. That's another one, too. Somebody shoot a jab, catch their jab, pull it, and throw a hook. Mm, <laughs> so you talking that 52 blocks, Jeff? We got to do another blocks. show. We got Because wow. I want to know some stuff that y'all guys doing, too. Yes, yes. Well, you just said, like, you, you said right there, Eddie Fitch talked about how he had to train Joe to handle Ali's jab. So just like you said, if you want to catch a jab, that's what Joe Frazier was doing. And he was bringing it down and then coming off with that big hook. Nasty with it at the end. Nasty work. Yep, he was leaving it here. He's leaving it here, catching all the jabs, you know. Um, so we got to get together again because... We got to do this gotta, again. 
We got to do this again. See you again in a couple rounds. Man, I, I get a couple you. rounds. Me I and you. I appreciate you for coming on this live. <laughs> and look, and look, and look I, this, this, not all friends are made to convince you the way. A lot of times you meet somebody, you like them, and y'all become friends. Some friendships happen with turmoil. And that's me and Sifu Fernandez right here. But now we have a great app. Now we have a great alliance. Sometimes these make the better friendships. It was it's the ones you. that start off rough. Yeah, so I appreciate you. Yo, Love you, bro. Love you Yo, back. Yo, for, huh? Oh, man, it was going to get crazy. Let me tell you uh, one I don't, I don't even want to go back into that part. Part. I don't even want to go back into that part. And I said, um, I'll fly out there. And Sifu said, I'll fight you in the airport. I said, oh, this man is serious. <laughs> He was ready to do it in the airport. Yeah. Man around on floor. Got a big heart. Got a big heart. Yes. Okay. All right, guys. Unfortunately, Jim's got to go on another live. Um, go ahead, Jim. Just finish I'm look, it out. No, I'm looking forward to working with you guys. Yeah. It's good meeting you. And like, hey, let me you know, do a screenshot. Let me do a screenshot. Hang on. Okay. I got to get a haircut next time we get on. Yeah, I've done it. Screenshot. Hold on. Oh, let me get, get it. Let me get one right now. What you trying to get a screenshot? He no, he is. He's he, oh, he did one over there. <laughs> <laughs> All right. All right. You got it. Salute. Yes. Thank you. All right, Thank everybody. You. Thanks Thank for you. coming. Okay. Thanks, everyone. Um, hey, uh, seafood friend. It's always good to see you and your your nephew there. That's great. Okay. Let me know if I can upload this on my channel as well. Yeah, yeah, please, please. If can you do you have a you want to can you download it? I can yeah, download yeah. it. Okay. Absolutely. All right, yeah, All right. do whatever you want with it. Whatever you All want. Right.